how to cut your workload in half with this simple trick. Hello my friends, hello my owners. This is John, this is the Marketing for Owners podcast. You can find us on iTunes. Oh, and if you're there, love a, love a review. Have you ever given anyone a rating a review? Listen to all those lovely free I, uh, podcasts on iTunes, including this one. Yeah, thank you. But it'd be great if you could give us a review and tell us what you think, or tell me what you think. Good or bad, I don't mind. If, it, if you don't like it, then uh, why are you listening? But if you don't like it, think that something can improve. Hey, I can take it. And it will be good to know, because I value your opinion more than anyone else's, because you, my friend, are my listener. Yeah. So anyway, Marketing for Owners podcast is where I give you little tips and tricks. Um, obviously, many on marketing. But really, 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 it's all about making your workload easier as you as you could tell from the title how to cut your workload in half <coughs> then bang on bang on topic now all these kind of things lead us to uh, our club called the owners club now if you were to go visit the owners co uh, you'll find that is you actually have to pay to join there is a free version but to be honest all the good stuff's in the owners club co it is 29 pounds per month but once you arrive once you join we guide you through a simple uh three section course you can take as long as you want or you can do it in as quickly as you want and you can certainly cover it all in less than a month and get you 29 pounds worth which is about 35 dollars by the way it's foundation then modernization then growth to be honest I'll leave you to find it. And that has been recently updated. So if you've looked before, you wouldn't have seen that. It's probably not even in the sales page details. I'm, Or it might be by the time you uh, listen to this. Who knows? Why don't you go look? It's got 100% money back guarantee. If you, if you do, if you start, uh, if you're halfway through and you think, nah, this wasn't what I was expecting, just send in an email and you get all your money back. And do we argue? Do we? Do we ask you for reasons why no we just give you all your money back it's me i promise but hey john how about that thing that we're supposed to be listening to instead of the old sales pitch yeah well hey it's my my podcast i do what i like but back, let's get back to that now this trick is actually based on uh robbie abed's work and this was it was a kind of trick for cubicle workers to to reduce their workload now <clears throat> most of us they have of course they have bosses cubicle workers and employees have bosses so this includes reporting to a boss you don't have a boss probably and so you have to be responsible to yourself however it's not easy to be responsible to yourself, you know, when you've got no one to report to. So this is how this works. It is just two steps, all right? Two steps. It does not take long. <coughs> so, Monday. Assuming your week starts on a Monday. Yes, I know, you work for yourself, so you have no weekends. You work Saturdays, you work Sundays, and Monday to Friday doesn't apply to you. Well, hey, with this little trick, we're going to get you back to Monday to Friday work. So, on Monday, write down the tasks that you plan to finish by the end of the week. And by the way, this is every Monday and Monday morning before you start, quite obviously, before you start your working week. So when you're drinking that first cup of tea or that first uh, mug of coffee, do it then. So, write down the tasks you plan to finish by the end of the week. Uh, yes, by the way, um, I have no idea. I am sitting outside for those who can't, and some kid has got something on his bike making noise. I no idea. Sounds like, it may sound like a lawnmower. How weird. So write down the tasks you plan to finish by the end of the week. And then, uh, then the tasks that you plan to be working on during the week that won't finish. Because obviously not everything finishes. Now, this is important. Do not jam pack that schedule. This is not a to-do list. This is the things you think you can get done 
and the things that we will start that will carry on into next week. There are 52 weeks in a year. You do not have to get everything done this week. If you try, I know you think they're all important and they need to be done, but if you try, that's where you'll get overwhelmed. That's where it will all come to a grinding halt and nothing gets done. What you'll find, oh, and by the way, uh, hang on, let's give a little clarification. Do not include every little tiny task. Don't talk about having um, opening the mail and having to go down to the bank or something like that. Don't include all those things, right? The other thing is base it on 20 hours. Now, if you base it on what you think you might get done within, or you could get done in 20 hours, other stuff will happen. Other stuff will come up. <clears throat> Some things will take a bit longer than you expect. We always underestimate things. That's why we're all overwhelmed and never get through everything. So that's the first part. Now, then, of course, you work. And at Friday, at the end of the day, so you need to set a time for doing this because you need to decide when the end of your day is on Friday. Remember, those employees, those people that get paid regularly every single month, it don't have to work weekends, apart from the ones that do. Uh, the ones that work Monday to Friday, they finish maybe five o'clock, maybe half five, maybe uh, four o'clock, whatever. They finish, they go home. That is the end of the day, the end of the week for them. Try being like them. You didn't plan to work all weekends and work all Friday night, did you? Try and be like that. So Friday, set a time, and at the end of, the, end of that week, look at that original list, write down the tasks that you completed, and then write down the tasks that are rolling on into next week. And that is it. What you would do if you were the employee is you would have emailed that list at the beginning of the week on the Monday, and then you would email them on Friday with the list of the report at the end of the week. And that's why it's two steps. That's it. What you plan to do at the start of the week, and at the end, what you actually did. Now, the, um, the, employee, the cubicle employee's job was to man is to manage their own workload, and even though they have a boss. And this reminds them that they are in charge of their own workload and that they can decide what they do and then they can prove to their boss that they did stuff that was worthwhile and they did stuff. Now, of course, what happens if you finish everything that you had on the list from Monday? If you finish everything on the list, you have, this is very important, let me get this, let me say this slowly, if you finish all the things you had on the list, to be completed that week, you have done everything you wanted to accomplish that week. You do not have to find other things to do. Your work is done. Give yourself a day off. Give yourself some time off. Go and spend it with the family. Go and uh, go out for the day. Take them out. Go and play golf. Go and have a spa day. Go and have a massage. Go and get your hair done. I don't care, but reward yourself and take time off. Your life as a business owner is going to be busy. You are going to be overworked and overwhelmed for many years and all the years you have a business or until you do things like this. Take the time to reward yourself. And that's it. So remember, if you finish, great rewards. There you go. Simple tricks, eh? This stuff works. Uh, by the way, this, yeah, this really does work. Try it. Don't be so sceptical. It is a Monday. Episode 661. Anything that ends in a one means it's a Monday. Um, time for a book for the week. And this has another one. Build a brand in 30 days. Something else to follow. This is by Simon Middleton. And very simply, obviously it's build a brand in 30 days. I think you can guess what it's going to be about. And the book contains 30 exercises for 30 days. One exercise per day for 30 days. Do you think you could manage that? Do you? 30 things. Can you manage to do things for a one month? And don't forget, if you read this, you can rope in. There are five things you need to do each week, of, you know, or for the day, or seven things over a week, or whatever it is. 
put them in in this new trick see how it works out anyway you'll figure it out it's great i'll be back with some more simple tricks uh, tricks tips and tricks tomorrow